Terry loved the James Jones novel, and uh, I think he saw in it an opportunity to do an exploration of war on film, unlike anything that had been done previously. And uh, I think that was the inspiration. Three, two, one, come on, come on, come on. action! Come on, let's go! He's a man that's only going to do a few films, so every one he does is going to be, I suppose, his last. And when a man is doing the last thing, there's no compromise. He hits us visually, but he also hits us emotionally with everything he does. He interrupts, you know, every, every piece of our being. I feel sorry for you, kid. Yeah. Yeah, a little. This army's gonna kill you. Everybody was excited, the thought of working with Terrence Malick, who is like the phoenix, has risen from the ashes after 20 years of not working, and here he is, you know. Uh, he's a very intuitive filmmaker. He'll do a shot, but then he'll see something over there during the shot, and then he'll change it. And then the actor will do something, he'll change it again. So things are always morphing. You see the spirit in these men? Do you see the new spirit? His process is somewhat similar to a poet or a painter. He likes the visual sort of presentation, as it were, to have a sort of a strong musical or poetic feel to it. And just the way he works in constructing the story, you will find that there are sort of similarities in construction of the picture to the way perhaps you would construct a piece of music. The lyrical beauty of Malick's visual storytelling proved to be an inspiration for Oscar-winning composer Hans Zimmer. 